Hey everybody, Captain Beanard back here with another Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. Today we have our second multi-battle where I am teaming with my longtime friend and actually the guy who got me into competitive battling, Cairo, who's made several appearances on the channel in both Sun and Moon and ORAS under the name Milo, to take on the team of Joey Fontaine, friend and fellow PokeTuber who I've battled many times on Sun and Moon and Thora, who I've battled once. So it is definitely going to be a good match, and we're going to get right into it. So, for those of you who don't know, in a multi-battle, each player gets to choose three out of their six party Pokemon to play with, so predicting leads is very hard in these matches, but anyway, uh, Joey led with Tornadus, Thora led with Manetric, I led with Charizard, and Cairo led with Tapu Koko. So right away, the Tapu Koko's Electric Surge is going to set the electric terrain on the battlefield. So, turn one, I'm going to go for the Mega Evolution into Mega Charizard X. And Tapu Koko is going to go straight for a U-turn on the Manetric, which is going to drop that down by about a third, and also give him the mandatory switch. So, Cairo is going to come in with Nihilego. But unfortunately, Joey is actually going to go for the Z-move with his Tornadus, specifically the Flying Z-move, which is going to be the Supersonic Sky Strike. So, unfortunately, he actually targeted me with that, so uh, there is no way my Charizard is going to be able to survive that. So, uh, that is going to be more than enough to one-shot. Uh, me and drop me down to two Pokemon, unfortunately, as uh, the Manetric is going to go for a Flamethrower on the Nihilego, which is not going to do too much of anything there. So, then I'm going to come in with my Muck, a lowland form, of course, and um, the Tornadus is just going to go for the knockoff on the Nihilego, dropping that down a little below half, getting rid of the Focus Sash. Doesn't really matter, though, since it was already broken. Uh, the Manetric is going to hit me up with a Flamethrower, dropping me down by about a third. And then uh, the Nihilego is going to go for a Sludge Wave, going to knock out the Manetric and drop Thora to two Pokemon. Also going to take the Tornadus down by about a third, which was good. Not going to do much of anything to me. And, of course, the Beast Boost is going to raise his special attack, and I'm just going to go for a Poison Jab, which is going to finish off the Tornadus and drop Joey down to two Pokemon as well. And then I'm going to regain a little bit of health with the Black Sludge. So, then Joey is going to come in with his Charizard, and Thora is going to come in with uh, Swampert. So, uh... Joey is going to go for the Mega Evolution, actually, on his Charizard into Mega Charizard Y. And, of course, uh, Drought is going to activate to turn the sunlight harsh. But, luckily, uh, Kairos Nihilego is going to outspeed everybody on the field, go for a Power Gem, and that is going to be more than enough to one-shot the Charizard and drop Joey down to just one Pokemon. And then he is also going to get a, another Beast Boost to raise his special attack even farther, but that is not going to matter, because uh, the Swampert is just going to go for an Earthquake. And, unfortunately, that is going to be enough to uh, take out both my Muck and uh, Kairos Nihilego and drop me down to one Pokemon, Cairo down to two. So, uh, Cairo is going to come back in with Tapu Koko, and uh, Joey is going to come in with Venusaur, and I'm going to come in with my Greninja. So, unfortunately, because the sun is up and uh, this Venusaur must have uh, the chlorophyll ability, so um, that is actually going to allow him to outspeed everybody, go for a Giga Drain, and actually one-shot my Greninja, which is extremely unfortunate. Uh, that is going to actually eliminate me from the battle, uh, making it a two-on-one situation versus uh, my partner Cairo. So, he is going to go for a Grass Knot, which is fortunately going to take out the Swampert and drop Thor to just one Pokemon. So, uh, then... Uh, Thor is going to come in with the Altaria, which does have the Cloud 9 ability. So, um, Cairo's actually going to 
switch the Tapu Koko out here, probably predicting the poison move from the Venusaur uh, into the Garchomp. Uh, and Thora is actually going to go for the Mega Evolution here into Mega Altaria. And uh, that is actually going to outspeed everybody, which was a surprise, and also uh, go for an Ice Beam, which was equally surprising. So that's actually going to be enough to one-shot the Garchomp and drop um, Cairo down to just one Pokemon. And that is going to be it for the Electric Terrain. But uh, his last Pokemon is Tapu Koko, so that is just going to go ahead and uh, activate the Electric Surge to set the Electric Train on the battlefield once more, but not really going to matter because the Sun is still up, so um, the Venusaur is just going to go for a Sludge Bomb, which is going to be enough to one-shot the Tapu Koko, unfortunately. He's going to take some damage from the Life Orb, but then that is going to be game. So, I. Uh, we ended up losing this one to Joey Fontaine and Thora. Uh, these multi-battles are very unpredictable at times, but also a lot of fun. So it was a good match. Thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy. And stay tuned for more new battles in the future. So that's it, and we'll see you next time.